Alright. Now we just gotta get the camera working again. What a faff on this has been. There we go. Looks like we're all back up and running. I did update my graphics drivers and yeah, it only seems to happen with Football Manager. Oh, he is open. We get the, the updated graphics drivers helped. The other thing I'm going to do actually I'm going to take the skin off. Don't know why. You know, that could have an issue, but. And then I'm going to clear my cache. And yeah. Let's go from there, I think. I was doing well against Wickham as well. <sighs> Decent turnout expected. All right. Oh, actually get this game done and over with. Come on, lads. You need to win. It's not going to happen with a defense like that. Bloody hell. It's like Man United giving up a bloody goal in two, inside two minutes. Come on, we can do this. Hold on, train rocks. Oh, go on, Coley. Oh, good save. Ah, cheers for the follow, Sleepy Raptor. Hope you're doing okay, mate. Get my ass handed to me right now.
Herbert with the mistake. Bloody Herbert. Are you playing the game as well, Sleepy Raptor? We need to get at least one so we can get back into it by half time. Nice call, good work there. Good dredge. Nice, there we go, call. Ah, oh, disallowed. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, lads, we can get two, three goals this half. Enough time. Oh, my We'll take that. Let's go. Mapsley, get in there. We're back in it. Can we go on and win it? Go on, rocks. Nice, Hayward with the cross. Oh, we get it! Yeah, heart. We're the third. We scored three this half. Gonna uh, go more balanced, I think, because Defo don't wanna. Short of passing. Yeah, we're gonna try and uh, manage this here. Oh, Coley's away. <sighs> I 
Hey, we got the win. Nice. Get in there. Defo needed that. Even just for the morale boost of the team. Um, Defo needed that. Bishop Auckland next. Certainly don't want to be overconfident, but I'm hoping that this uh, blue screen issue is going to be taken care of. We've at least gotten through a game. Alright, come on lads. Get in, Joseph. Joseph, Joseph. My centre back. Definitely better than Herbert. Alright, Scotsman. How are you doing, mate? Oh, little dink by call. Defender missed it. Hopefully I won't have any more problems, Scotsman. I, I did blue screen again when I first went live. But I've since updated my um, graphics drivers. I've moved my files from football. It only happens with Football Manager. Whenever I'm playing Football Manager. So I've moved my files from my game drive to my C drive. On Steam. So yeah. Open. Fingers crossed. Um, to be honest, I haven't been playing Football Manager when I'm, when I'm not streaming, so I, I don't know, I should test that, but when Emily and I did that stream last night, we, I didn't have the game open and everything was fine, uh, same with the, the Man United watch along. I didn't have the game open and it was fine. It's every time I go to stream Football Manager. So I'm assuming it's the game. Ah, 
Ah, cheers, Bundy. I appreciate that bit. It was fun. Emily said she was how much fun she had uh, this morning, actually. She's like, I really had fun last night. I said, yeah, it's a good group of lads. We're starting to hit our stride a little bit. My last game I went down 2-0. And I ended up winning 3-2. Scored all three goals in the second half. Uh, after We've only played five games. So it's hard to say. We, I think we've won two out of the five. This will be the sixth game. Hopefully we get the win here. It was a bit of a rough start to the season. No, this is uh, season three. So I got back-to-back -back promotions in the first two seasons which were quite easy and then um, in fact the first season I went undefeated so season three we've struggled a bit more Hello, honey. That's all right. My memory's not great either. Oh, keeper, what are you doing? I think I've got Allison in goal. Look at this. What is he doing? He heads it to their striker. Not bad. Bruno-esque there from King. Oh, no, sorry. Bruno puts it in the back post to Maguire. That's from that uh, spot, doesn't he? Dying minutes of the game. Yeah, well, we'll see. See what happens. We, we seem to go in, in those spats, you know, we'll go on a good run, then we'll have a, a down period, and then go on a good run. So, let's hope this down period doesn't happen, or it doesn't last too much longer. We need Pogba back is what we need. And we need a better captain.
<laughs> I know, but if he's going to help the team at this point. And to be fair, since that whole thing happened, he's been in decent form and has put, put a shift in. He's been almost a different player. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I definitely agree with that. I'm trying to sign my cousin here. Andy. I've been trying to sign, sign him. <laughs> that would be, that'd be pretty funny, man. You'd almost do a Where in the World is Carmen San Diego Carrius edition. Only to discoveries in Liverpool. Yeah, I also removed the skin off the game that they had on here, Scotsman, to see if that was even causing an issue. So far, so good, though. So what have you all, what have you all got going on tonight? Anything fun? Nothing. No work. Uh, we're just waiting for the snow to come in. Ooh, cake best. Yeah, we've got a winter storm warning. It says anywhere from six to ten inches of snow.
Come on. Yes. Get in there. Uh, the kids, honestly, don't. It doesn't really phase them anymore. They're all getting older now, so. My youngest two are 14. That'd be different if they'd, they'd be more excited if they were going to have a snow day or something off school, but. And they still might, I don't know, because I think the teacher's still going into the school, even though they're all working remotely. Oh, Cole! He's still doing the business for me, Scotsman. Coley up front. I've had this strike since uh, my first season, Bondi. And he is prolific. Oh, yes. Killing him. I'm gonna kill the game off here, I think. Yeah. Oh, Cole nicks the ball off him. Making the run. Ah, uh, he was he got a bit too greedy there. Yeah, check this out, Bondi. Look at this fella. He's coming along nicely. He's only twenty one. So far he's uh, he's played sixty five games for me. Scored seventy four goals. 20 assists, 20 player of the match awards. Got him on a free transfer. So far this season. Yeah, 42 goals, man, in 37. Unbelievable. 6-6 six six so far this season. But he's just prolific. There he is again. Look at that. It's finishing, man. It definitely took him a minute to kind of get going this season, though. Give the ball away. Oh, and he misses that one. He scores the one that comes over his head. First time shot. And he misses that one on one.
I think in the summer I'm going to start looking for a new keeper as well. Oh, Thea, super sub coming on. Sam's has had a good game. Yeah, I saw that, Bondi. I think, um, I think Scotsman said something about getting that, uh, is he a French player? His name begins with a D. A plays for Lille. Uh, is it, I want to say Ducati, but I, I, I know that's not right. I can't remember his name. remember anyway for me I, I would like to get Canard here but I don't think there's much chance of that if Upper Meccano is going as well and DD Canard here and um, Lamptey I think would be my three signings That's who it was, Kunde. I don't know why I have such trouble remembering his name. Kunde Kanate. I'm not, I mean, I was the same with Cavani, but I'm not 100% on bringing in Sergio. And I, I honestly don't see it. I, I was listening to Mark Goldbridge earlier, and he made a good point in, can, there's no way Harry Maguire is going to get the captaincy stripped off him and I don't see Ramos coming there and not being the captain can you imagine Sergio Ramos being captained by Harry Maguire like something's not right about that
I guess it would just depend on his wages, man. Like, I, I have no problem bringing him in on a free. I just don't want to be spending three, four hundred grand a week on his wages. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I just think, I think Harry Maguire will be okay. He will be an okay defender with the right partner. But finding that partner is going to be the tough part. Oh crap. Alright, North Allerton next. So, did any of you listen to Maguire's interview after the game yesterday? And what were your thoughts on it? Oh, he missed the penalty. Yeah, absolutely, man. You cannot be a Manchester United player and just go around. Yeah, exactly. And somebody looked it up as well. I saw on Twitter. Um... Like, every other team that's played there has created 10-plus chances. It's crazy. But you, you can't... As, a, as a, a leader, as a captain... To go on TV like that and, and try and pass the book... You know what I mean? Like, you have to take ownership, man. Lead by example. Can you ever imagine, you know, Roy Keane or somebody of that ilk given that interview? It just wouldn't happen. You know, and somebody, I forget where I heard it or read it or whatever, but somebody said... Uh, De Gea went into, went into the team it in Sam's uh, on one interview, got in trouble and never captained the side again. You know, and that's the reason why Bruno will never be captain, because he will go in on the team. And that's why Harry is captain. They need a kick up the ass, man. Another penalty. You better score this one. Get in. There we go. But yeah, man, it, it's just... It's sickening, honestly. To listen to him talk. 
like that. It's not a winner's mentality. Oh, what a cross. There's going to have to be some big changes made within that squad. If, if there aren't any changes made, I think Ollie's going to end up going down with the ship. On a break. Oh. Hey, another decent win there. We'll take it. So we're doing all right here. We're, we're actually fourth in the league. After those few games. Sam's has been decent the last couple of games as well. All right, Corey, how are you doing, mate? Yeah, not too bad, man. A little tired today. Waiting on some uh, bad weather to roll through. Just one of those days outside where you just want to sleep.
you missed the stream yesterday, mate, with uh, Emily and I. We we didn't go um, live until later than I thought we were going to, but we had fun. Oh, nice. Well, sounds like you're getting sorted with your business at least. Even better. Yeah, depending on how much snow we get overnight, I might get my drone out tomorrow. Do like an aerial flyover. Yeah, man, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I've done a couple of videos like that when it wasn't snowing. It just depends on how much wind there is, obviously. Sending it up. Yeah, but... Yeah, yeah, I'll send you some. Yeah, the drone I bought has a 4K camera on it, so the footage is usually pretty sharp, man. Pretty good stuff. Time for all right, Sam's. You're coming off.
Oh, get in. That's game. All right, Scotsman. What a finish. Uh, give me a second, uh, everybody. I've uh, just got to take this phone call. All right, sorry about that. Let's see. Hey, we're top. How the hell did that happen? But yeah, Corey, I think I've got some footage somewhere. Um, probably on my phone. Of some of the other flights I've done. I'm hoping to get more usage out of the, um, the drone in the summer. No, actually, it's very easy. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things that it has like an auto land and auto takeoff function. So it'll like, you know, you auto takeoff and it'll come up and just hover there. And then you can move it however you need to. Uh, same for landing. It, it has GPS, so it can actually locate exactly where it took off from and then it'll bring it um bring it straight back to where it took off from and lower it down and auto land for you
Banstead Athletic, eh? FA Cup preliminary rounds. Yeah, well, uh, and as far as it crashing, I've had a couple of uh, close calls. Um, I did crash it into a tree. And I got a pretty nasty cut on my finger because I went to go grab it. And it hadn't shut off yet. So, yeah, you got to be careful. Alright, Red Raid. Cheers for the raid, mate. How you doing, man? Yeah, not much, man. It's a bit of a quiet night, honestly. We just went top of the league in this save, so pretty, uh, pretty happy about that. We're doing all right. And knock on wood, my computer issues that I had, I think appear to have been fixed. Sam's missing a good opportunity there, like. How was your stream, mate? Congrats, man. That's awesome. 800 is a pretty good milestone. How long have you been streaming for to be able to get 800?
Oh, what a finish by Cole. Get in there. Tenth goal of the season for Thomas Cole. J Hearts away. Releases Goodridge. Oh. It's a bit more balanced. Defo time for. So. What a save. What a save. Keeps them in the game. Keeper giving the ball away. And that's what happens. What an absolute knobhead. A keeper is. New keeper in the summer for sure, man. Yep. Let's go on to the next one. Just couldn't finish that game off. We looked comfortable until the last like 20 minutes. No, it's just the FA Cup. I'm all right with that. We need to focus on the league anyway. Come on, Dunstan, 13th. All right, Dot, uh, I think it's Dot, Dot, I think is how it's pronounced. Cheers for the raid, mate. And for the follow. How are you doing, man? How was your stream? Yeah, close enough. Uh, 
Ah, okay. I've never, I've never actually done an MLS save. Yeah, I've heard it's, uh, it's quite different. I've been playing these games since, what, early 90s? So, probably FM 90, uh, sorry, CM 93. Um, yeah. And this year was the first year I ever did a Spanish save. So crazy. Cheers for the follow of the tornado. Bonjour, mate. Yeah, I went down to proper grassroots, man, and, and we're working to uh, get Borough Rangers up the leagues here. Yeah, so we're in, well, we're in Division 10, so we're in our third season, Division 10. Um, we got two consecutive, you know, back-to-back -back promotions, and uh, we're doing all right this season as well. We started off a little, little rough, uh, but it's going all right. Oof, disallowed. Uh, maybe not so attacking. Zero ten zero. Yeah, I've been playing this 4-3-3 that seems to be doing all right. Not bad, man. It's interesting. Oh, how do you miss that? I have actually... Oh, where am I? I'll have to find it. I just moved my install folder. So I was having some PC issues. I have a pretty good tactic that's similar. Oh, what a finish by us. Get in there. Fantastic finish. He doesn't usually score many. Oh, and he hits the post. Yeah, as soon as this game, game's over, I'll... I'll Find the tactic. I have it saved. Ooh, Rodwell, eh? You mean you don't have him sitting on the bench? Are you playing as Sunderland or did you buy him? Ah, uh, okay. How long have you been streaming on Twitch? <laughs> 
Yeah, pretty much the same. I, I'd, I'd streamed off and on for a few years and then, you know, just really just picked it up during the first lockdown. I did just follow you as well, mate. Ooh, Coley. I'll tell you what, this coal fella is fantastic. I keep saying this. But coal is ridiculously good. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I figured it was only fair, mate. I appreciate the raid, man. And, uh... This, um... Yeah, Cole. The, the fella I've got up front here is... I think he scored 46 goals for me last season. He's been... Been immense. I got him on a free. He was at Newcastle. Um, oh, come on. Fence. I'm even playing cautious. Welcome back, Scotsman. Okay, yeah, check this out, man. Thomas Cole. Oh, I'm sorry, 42, not 46. It was 26 the season before. But he scored 75 in 67 games. Right. <laughs> yeah, man, he's been fantastic for me. He's only 21. I mean, he's definitely starting to hit his level now. You know, this season, certainly not as prolific as the last couple of seasons, but... He's still a good first teamer. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's still uh, he's still hitting the back of the net. That's all I care about. Let's go more positive, see if we can get a winner. I'm going to demand more from the team. There he is! Another one for him. Mr. Cole. Just singing his praises. Time to shut up shop. A little bit. Let's do that. Oh, come on. 
What happens when you try and shut up shop? Keeper's been horrible this year. I had a goal earlier that was scored against me. My keeper headed the ball outside the box to their striker. Oh, three, three. Five unbeaten, so we'll take that. Yeah, I appreciate you uh, following me, man, and, and raiding me. You put me over... 380 followers. I've been sitting in the 370s since before Christmas. Just hovering. You might have just uh, smashed that uh, that ceiling for me. <laughs> What's up, Jado? How are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm doing well, man. Doing real well. I was just talking earlier about uh, we're expecting a good 10 inches of snow tonight. Um, so just waiting for that storm to start. And should be fun. I'm going to get my drone out tomorrow and get some aerial footage, I think, as long as the winds aren't too high. Oh, I did forget about that, uh, that tactic I wanted to look for. Ah, I appreciate it, Tornado, man. Stop back anytime, mate. And thanks again for the follow, man. Uh, I'm actually in Ohio in the US, uh, Geno. I'm originally from Middlesbrough. Uh, cheers, Tornado. I thought that said Aston Villa there. It's Answorth Villa. Like, what? What would they want with this crappy left back? Yeah, season's going well. We're uh, yeah sitting fourth in the league at the minute. Not too shabby. We're newly promoted into this division, so 
you know, it was kind of nice not to be around the relegation zone. Whitley Bay. I've been to Whitley Bay. So the reason I chose Borough Rangers is because I grew up in Middlesbrough and uh, Borough Rangers played the, the Middlesbrough Community Centre. So I thought it'd be fun to uh, try and get them up the leagues a bit. Craptastic to fantastic is the idea. So far, so good. We're going to have a lot of um, upgrades that are going to be, need to be done, though. Like, I don't think... If we get up the leagues... Like, we're playing at a... Like I said, the... Uh, Middlesbrough FC Community Centre... It's only a 500 seater capacity. Oh, Sunderland got corrupted. Hey, well, good luck with the Stuttgart uh, save, man. So yeah, semi-pro. We're doing all right. We're having a decent season. I used to love to go to Whitley Bay when I was a kid. Went there with school as well once. Do you know, if I remember correctly, are you a Liverpool fan? Or were you a Chelsea fan? I remember us making a joke about, ah, oh, well, we won't kick you out or something like that when you joined before. But my memory's horrible, so I could be thinking of somebody else. That is strange. You need to play this formation, Jono.
do need a better keeper. I mean, he's at least slightly better than what I've got. Matt Smith. Ben Heath is better. I think I might try and get Heath in. He's a half a star better. I just have a feeling we're gonna hammer Whitley there like. What do you think? Yeah, should I should I try this formation? Anyone? Anyone think I should play this formation? Ah, let's do it. See what happens. Probably get our asses handed to us, but. Enjoy a little bit of danger. What did I say? And call! Oh, disallowed. There it is, Taylor J. Hart.
I definitely need to replace the keeper and uh, I was going to say Herbert as well, but Herbert isn't even playing. My centre back got Joseph Joseph in there. Half time. Boy, they are really uh, parking the bus on. Go on, Joseph. Joseph, no! Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. <sighs> what was that? Just gifting him a goal. tackle all right i think time to uh, switch back to our regular There it is. That's what we needed. Switch of formation. Keepers driving me crazy, man. What a finish by Cole. Get the win. Oof. That was uh, a little too close for comfort. But we'll take it.
see everything we believe. Right, I think that's where I'm going to end the stream. And uh, anyway, so I appreciate everybody for stopping by. Thank you for the raids and um, for the follows, everybody. And uh, yeah, we will be back on Wednesday uh, for our regular, uh, regular stream and whatnot. So yeah, enjoy your night, Scotsman. We'll see you all later.